Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program an ATtiny85 microcontroller, which is 25% the size of an ATmega328 microcontroller. Basically, this microcontroller can shrinkify your Arduino projects. This microcontroller can control anything, but with limitations. An ATtiny85 has five functioning pins to control what you desire, with two PMW pins, and it has eight kilobyte flash memory, versus the ATmega328 has 12 functioning pins with 6 PMW pins, and it has 32 kilobyte flash memory. Both are programmable, but the ATtiny has a few extra steps to do so, and I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> First thing you're going to need to do is get your Arduino, plug it in. Now what you're going to need to do next is get your breadboard, take your AT Tiny and put it in the breadboard just like this. Now what you're going to need to do is you need your AT Tiny to communicate with your AT Mega and to be able to program the AT Tiny. The next thing you need to do is click on files, go to example. Go to Arduino ISP. Now it's time to program your ATtiny85 by taking these jumper wires and attaching it to the Arduino and then attaching it to the ATtiny85. So the first thing you need to do is go over to 3.3 volts, put a jumper cable there, and now connect the jumper cable to the VCC to the ATtiny. just like that, which is pin eight. Now I'd take the ground wire, connect it to pin four, which is ground to the ATtiny. Pin 13 goes to pin seven. Pin 12 goes to pin six. Pin 11 goes to pin 5. Pin 10 goes to reset, which is pin 1. Open up your Arduino program, click on Tools, go to Boards, and go down and select ATtiny85. Next, go back to Tools, scroll down to Processor, click on ATtiny85, go back to Tools, scroll down and check the clock and see that it is 1 MHz, and check everything else to see everything is all correct. Then you need to go into the Programmer and make sure it says Arduino as ISP. Clicking on that will allow the Arduino and the ATtiny to communicate with each other. Check everything to make sure everything is correct and everything says what they say, so that way you know you'll have a successful upload. Click on File, click on Example, go to Blink, and now let's go and open up the window of Blink. Now we need to do a slight modification to Blink. Let's go ahead and select LED built in and let's change that to zero. LED built in, change that to zero, and then LED built in, change that to zero. Make all of those zero. Make all of that say zero, so that way that's the pin number that's on the ATtiny. Go ahead and click on upload. It will show an error message, but ignore that. It means it's uploaded successfully. Now you take your LED, Place it into your board just like this, so you have the positive and negative. Now you go to the cathode of the LED, which is negative, and it goes to the negative, which is ground, of your AT tiny. Now connect the positive to 
pin 5, which is actually 0 in the code. This is why we put 0 in the code, and that's the connection for the LED to blink. And this is what it looks like when you transfer the code. It'll blink and flash like this, and that means you successfully transferred the code. And now, your LED is blinking. Not from the Arduino, but it's blinking from the ATtiny85. Now let's go ahead and remove all of the wires, so that way the ATtiny can be independent from the Arduino. I'm going to go to my lab bench power supply, crank it up to 3 volts. Now you take the cathode of the LED and connect it to the ground, and connect ground to the power supply, connect VCC from the power supply to pin 8, pin 5 to the anode of the LED, and there you have it. Your LED is now blinking from your ATtiny85. Now let's make this circuit portable by taking this 3 volt button cell battery and disconnecting your power supply. And now let's go ahead and connect negative to negative, positive to positive, and there. Now your circuit can be portable and work off from a simple button cell battery. And there you have it. Now you know how to program an ATtiny85 and allowing it to work off from a simple button cell battery and basically shrinkifying all of your Arduino projects. You can literally do anything but with some limitations with an ATtiny85, especially when you want to make things really small and compact and portable and functioning off from low voltage. I'm going to make a lot of videos on what you can do with an ATtiny85 and I have a lot of projects that I can do with this. And so can you, since now you know how to program it. It's very fun and very useful. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. Till the next tech. Goodbye.